Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be seeing what it looks like to shine a mirror in a true mirror. And also we're gonna be figuring out if you shine a mirror in a mirror, does that mirror image reflected on the mirror image and reflected on the mirror image go on forever? So first let's do a quick reminder of what a true mirror is. I did a video on this a while ago. It's a mirror that doesn't reverse the image when you look at it. So here's a quick recap on that. A regular mirror reverses the image when you look at it. And the reason it does it is actually because it's not reversing anything, it's just reflecting back what you're showing to it. But a true mirror doesn't send back a mirror image to what you're showing it, it actually shows you what you would look like in real life if you walked up to yourself. So you get to see what you actually look like in real life to other people. So first let's see what it looks like to shine a regular mirror in a mirror. You can see that you essentially get an image that looks like it goes on forever. Whatever is on one side stays on that side and you just get the mirror image of that going on to infinity. But now let's see what it looks like to shine a true mirror in a regular mirror. Whoa, look at that. So this is really interesting what's happening here. So you'll notice that the groups of images kind of come in pairs. For example, when I move my hand back and forth, there's two hands that are moving with each other and then another group of hands that are moving against each other. You can even high five yourself. So look how cool this looks when I walk past the mirror. It looks like it's somebody else, not my own reflection because I can actually move past myself as I move by. And if I wave to myself, it's the opposite hand in the true mirror that's waving. So it's like there's two different people in this set of mirrors. Now what's interesting about the true mirror and the regular mirror is that both sets of mirrors go off to infinity, although the regular mirror and the true mirror kind of swap places back and forth as it goes off to infinity. But the question is, when you have two mirrors reflecting at each other like this, does it actually go to infinity? What actually happens with the picture? Because as you look inside the mirror, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller, so it's kind of hard to tell what's happening. But does it really go to infinity? Well, the answer is yes and no. It's kind of a paradox. The reason is because if you were to add up the area inside of those mirrors being reflected, you would find that as those areas go to infinity and you add them all up, you'll find that the area is actually finite. It comes to a certain finite value. But if you were to only take some length in the mirror, only in a one dimension, and add all those up, you would find that the width actually diverges and goes to infinity. So there's an infinite amount of length of width, but there's only a finite amount of area. Now this is really weird. This is related to the same mathematical phenomenon known as Gabriel's horn. In Gabriel's horn, this shape actually has an infinite amount of surface area, but only a finite volume. So that means that you would be able to fill it with some liquid like paint, but you'd never be able to paint the entire surface area of it because it's infinite. So to analyze how this could be true mathematically, first let's say we have a person standing between two parallel mirrors separated by a distance d. So the first image you see in the mirror will be separated by a distance d as well. But then after that, the next image that's facing the observer that's standing in between the mirrors will be produced by the reflection of the first image in the mirror behind him. So that second image will now be 3D away from it, it will be three distances away. So when the observer sees himself in the mirror, he'll see himself at one distance, three distances, five distances, seven distances, and so on. So what that means is that the apparent area in the mirror of the first image will be just its width times its height. And then the apparent area of the second image will be its width times its height divided by three squared. And then the next one would be width times height divided by five squared, and then seven squared. And so you can take out the width times the height and it looks like this. Now this is an infinite series, meaning that the areas in this series go on forever, but if you actually take the sum of the areas, it converges to a finite value. So the total of all of these areas is finite, even though this series goes on forever for the area. However, for the width of that area, you just have an infinite series that looks like this. Now if you were to sum up this infinite series, you'd find that it does actually go on forever. So it goes to infinity, it diverges. So that's really weird. If you were to take just the width or the height, you'd find that that diverges and if you were to add up all those tiny little lines, it would be infinite. But if you took the area of those, you'd find that it had a specific value, an exact value that was not infinite. So the answer to the question, does the image in the mirror go on forever? The answer is yes and no. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.